But uh, having said that, let me tell you. In 2019, uh, earlier than 2019, three months or four months before we did the election, I was uh, approached to help Atiku put together an economic blueprint, which I did, and it's voluminous. And uh, everything you can think of how to revive Nigeria economy, it's called a trillion dollar, econ a trillion dollar economy, economy in four years. And uh, Atiku was appreciative. And uh, those who, everyone was happy. Yeah, I, I, I mean, sorry to just interject a bit. That was one of the reasons why I actually I said know, you we must me. have you yes. to talk about yes, that yes. because my interest has always been on that trillion dollar economy <laughs> since the 2019 19, campaigns. Yes. Yeah. yes, so it was completely detailed. The only thing I want to mention here, my brother, I love this country more than I love myself. I'm not saying this thing for people to praise me. I don't need anybody. At the age of 61 plus, I don't need any praises. The only thing that is very unfair to these people is that I think has not approached me to ask my consent even to continue to use those documents. <laughs> no, no, no. It's unfortunate because I might ask my lawyers to get back to him to ask him how on earth are you using my document. But have, be it as it may, that is by the way. Now, the, issue, the question is this. Nigeria needs more than that. What I put together, although I don't, want, I don't know whether I can say it here, is that we have to revive the Nigerian economy as fast as possible. Because Nigeria needs to migrate from agrarian economy to industrial and from industrial to knowledge economy. So we are going to do two migrations. And to do the two migrations,